How is it going you guys? Thought I'd do something a little bit different today besides shoes. Mix it up a bit with a compare and review of the new Dickies skateboarding pants and the slim and regular fits. Now they do offer one more fit. The Jamie Foy signatures. I don't have those, but I do have two different 67 collection fits, which were their skateboarding pants or marketed that way previous to these new releases. Now I don't know how long skateboarders have been wearing Dickies. I used to buy them in the early 90s because they were affordable and something different other than jeans and khakis. Here I am wearing some Dickies at a contest in Connecticut in 1993, I think. I only remember two pro contests where they made us wear helmets and this was one of them. Kind of strange. Now workwear companies like Carhartt and Dickies are specifically catering to skateboarding, which is cool with me. They can use us for marketing and we get to see people like Jamie Foy get a nice check and continue to produce amazing video parts. These new fits do come in some new colors along with the standard colors they've always offered. One thing I wish they offered on all the waist sizes was shorter lengths. I'm six feet tall and I think the shortest they offer I've found on their pant sizes is a 30 length. Wish they would go shorter. 29, 28 possibly. Think about it Dickies. Now first up about these new skateboarding pants is that they run small. I lost 40 pounds when I got sick with hyperthyroidism and I went from a 33 waist to a 2930. I have gained a little bit of weight recently and I read from customer reviews that these things run small so I just guessed and went one size up from a 30 to a 31. Now I'd definitely go one more size up even that's two sizes up from my normal 30 waist size to a 32 which is strange because I have 30 pant sizes and other brands that fit me just fine so I don't know what's going on with the sizing. For me between the regular and slim fits the regular fit one is even a little tighter around the waist and that's probably because the slim fit is a flex pant while the regular fit is not. So let's take a look at the specs on these and how they compare and we'll also compare them to the 67 versions as well. The slim straight has flex fabric for some stretch while the regular fit does not. The slim is also softer, lighter weight, and is using a seven and a half ounce brush twilled blend of 65% polyester, 35% cotton, while the regular fit is using an eight and a half ounce regular twill, 65-35 blend. The regular fit is based on their classic 874 pant, but updated for skateboarding they say. I don't know why that much of a price difference though. I do understand some price difference, but that's a big hike. As far as fit goes on the slim straight, it is similar to the 874. It's not super slim and it's a straight pipe leg. On the new regular fit, it's very similar in fit to the previous 67 collection regular fit with a wider, roomier straight leg, which means a wider opening at the bottom. Some like that look, some don't, so be aware. The other difference between the 67s and the new regular fits is that the 67s had flex and the new ones don't. For me, my favorite Dickies were the 67 Slim Fits with Pivot Tech, I think they were called. They don't sell those anymore, but those were like a mostly cotton pant, very comfortable. I think they were 81% cotton, 18% something polyester, 1% <laughs> spandex, something like that. I bought maybe like four or five pairs of those. Really like those. Bring those back. As far as how the Jamie Foy's compare to these other two, they are a loose straight flex fit with a slightly lighter weight fabric and an added cell phone pocket. And I'm pretty sure 32 inch inseam is the shortest they offer on these as well. My final thoughts are I'm stoked Dicky supports skateboarding. I wish the price was a little less. It's still relatively affordable when you compare it with other brands on the market, but we all have big dreams. Big dreams of little prices. Not only you can make that decision whether to go with the original 874s or shell out some money for 
the new skateboarding pants. That's on you. Dickies does have a wide range of pants, so no matter what, you should be able to find something you like. But if you're like me, you want to support the skateboarding, so you pay more for the skateboarding pants, right? Remember, these things run small at the waist. You may want to go two sizes up. One size at the very least. I'd say two sizes. That's what I would do, but you're going to have to figure that out yourself. And then get back to me. Let me know what your experience is with these. Hope I gave you guys some good information. Later.